Hello, Cathedral High School. This is Dr. Rob Bridges, the president of Cathedral, and it is great to be able to talk to you today, even if it's virtual. We're going to start the newsletter today on this great month of May um, with a reading from the book of James, one of the best, my favorite books of the Bible. What good is it, my brothers, if someone has faith but does not have works? Can that faith save him? If a brother or a sister has nothing to wear and has no food for the day, and one says to them, go in peace, keep warm, and eat well. But if you do not give them the necessities of the body, then what good is that? So also, faith is of itself, without works, dead. So this is really a time for faith. There's no question about that. With all the uncertainties in our world today, there are way more questions than answers. There's only one thing certain and solid, and that's our faith in God and his promises for us. Now, does that sound cliche or trite? You know, I recently heard a man saying, there is no use for prayer at this time, not during a pandemic. Prayer is not magic. We need action, not prayers. I've also heard people say, we don't need thoughts and prayers. We need solutions. Well, St. James would disagree at least halfway with that. Faith is always needed, especially now, but only with works as well. You know, I like to say that we can stare at the mountain and pray that it moves, or we can lean into it while we're praying. Faith and works are equally important, especially now. So while we're praying daily here on the hill, we are also working. And we ask for your help in that regard. At the end of my letter, there will be a link to a parent survey. I will ask that you complete it and let us know how we're doing and how we can better serve the cathedral family. Right now, our cathedral families are being served by our cathedral educators who've done an outstanding job of both faith and works since we were last together on March 13th. We continue to have our prayer team record our daily prayers and share that. We have visited each of our educators and posted appreciation yard signs for all 150 of them. And this week, we also had 40 educators visit each of our 271 seniors with a personal touch, presenting them with a special senior package. That package included their cap and gowns, a, a yard sign, tell them how much we love the class of 2020, special notes and treat bags and mementos. Each day we were raffling off and presenting to three classroom educators restaurant gift cards, which gives our teachers an opportunity to get a break from preparing meals for their families, but also helps to support our local restaurants. Most importantly in all that we're doing, we are staying connected to our students despite the social distances. We have clubs and academic teams that are meeting. Our advisory and counties are meeting with students regularly as well. Just this week, one of our seniors told us that he feels so connected right now and he appreciates our efforts so much, and that's coming from an 18-year-old. We've also held prayer services, continue to hold our Sunday masses, and our athletic teams are keeping in touch with their athletes for workouts. In summary, we are continuing to educate the hearts and the minds of our students in new and unique ways. And we plan to do so as long as is necessary. You know, the e-learning that we find ourselves in right now is, by all accounts, not ideal. The human touch of education is the essence of the relationships between educators and students, especially so in Catholic schools and in our Holy Cross model. I believe that our teachers are doing an outstanding and over and above job of making the most of this, but it's still not ideal. We are currently working on plans for a hybrid model for our summer programs as well as our programs in the fall. We will have many more details on that in the next couple of weeks, so please be patient. Once again, much of this is not in our control, but what is in our control is how we react by doing our best in our daily work by sharing kindness with those who are quarantined alone, or who are sick, who are despondent. What we also can control is the high level of emphasis we place on the health of our cathedral family, especially those most at risk. Just this week, we have formed a safety task force that will put into action the very best of practices in terms of the safety of our students and our adults once we return to school. This summer, we also, by the way, began construction on our long planned for and anticipated innovation center, which brings with it challenges as well as opportunities given the pandemic. We will put our best minds together and spare no resource to ensure that our school environment 
is not only safe for all, but as warm and welcoming as it has always been. I just have two more points to make. Thank you for staying with me now more than ever. We need you, the members of our community, to support us to the best of your ability. Cathedral has always relied on the generous, amazing support from all of you to fulfill our mission and our vision. I truly believe that this e-learning experience will make it very clear to a whole new generation of students that schools like Cathedral are more vital to more children than ever before. On April 29th, we held a very special day of caring and we held this in honor of our class of 2020, our 100th graduating class. These 271 senior students have probably felt the loss of this time on the hill more deeply than anyone. On our special day in their honor, we asked for people to support us in the name of these seniors. And we heard from over 350 donors and raised over $70,000 to help us continue to fulfill our mission. We thank you all for that, and we ask that as you support us, uh, we also want to continue to support you. For those who are in our community and experiencing financial hardships during this time, we ask you to contact us at financialaid at gocathedral.com. That's financialaid at gocathedral.com, and we will work with you. It is our goal not to have anyone leave our family as a result of this pandemic. So as we joyfully turn our calendars to May, I believe that hope abounds. I also truly believe that once we are on the other side of this pandemic, we will be a stronger school, more able to adapt, collaborate, and educate in new ways as a result of our current situation. Our new class of 2024 will be the fortunate beneficiaries of our newfound nimbleness, and our stars will shine more brightly than ever we also want to know that we also want you uh, want to know how you think we are doing. So we ask you to take a few moments to fill out a survey that we've attached to our message. We really value your input and we want to hear from you. Independent school management has put this survey together for independent schools, so there will be some reference to elementary and middle schools that don't apply to us. At the same time, I believe that this survey will provide very useful data for us here at Cathedral High School. So finally, please know that we love you and we miss our students so much, we miss seeing all members of our community. Our beloved Hill is not the same without seeing all of our people at our school, especially during this beautiful time of year in the month of May, the month we dedicate to Our Lady who continues to lead us. So I urge you to remain hopeful, remain positive, and remain prayerful. Faith and works, as St. James remind us, are vital in concert with each other. So until we see you again, know that we are praying and working to continue to make Cathedral High School a place where hearts and minds are educated like nowhere else. And with that, I say go Irish.